It has been more than 500 days since the last time a fan came through the gates at Citizens Bank Park. Look how rusted the lock is. That's how long it's been that the gates have been clamped together. But the fans are back. The rally towels are rolling. The masks are on. Social distancing is in order. The sun is shining. Yes, it's a little cool today, but that doesn't matter because Aaron Nola takes to the mound and fans will be here to watch him. It's opening day 2021. ERA of 2.25. This was his first opening day start. And the first pitch is lined to right field. That's it for a base hit. And Andrew McCutcheon is aboard to begin the bottom of the first. McCutcheon does not go. And the pitch outside, ball four. It was the same pitch that he took for ball three. And the Phillies have two on with one out here in the bottom of the first. Lifetime against Freed. He had a solid but short spring. That ball of the dirt, and it hit him. And the bases are loaded. Don't miss it. And a high in the air to left field. It's not deep. Tagging from third is McCutcheon. Ozuna is under. Comes running in. The throw to the plate sails to the left, and it is not in time. A run scores. The other runners move up. A sacrifice fly. The Phils are on top. One to nothing. Curveball rolled up the third baseline. Charging his bone. This is where he's improved. He flips it to first. Dug out by Hoskins. Well, he improves and in going in to get the baseball. A little help from the winds. And then a little help from his defense as well. No runs. One hit. And one man left. We're on to the Ball pulled. That's a fair ball down the left field line. Slowly going toward the corner. Hoskins on his way to second. He'll get there standing. His first hit of the season. And the Phillies have a one out double here in the bottom of the third. That one's drilled. Beautiful. Drilled right. Drilled into shallow oh, right field. Nice, nice, Harper's nice. going to third as a run scores. He's safe. It looked like he got his hand in there. A run scores. It's 2-0 right now, two outs. But I'm sure the Phillies will take a look at this one. They get. We see JT right here, just beautiful. You know, two strikes, just try to get something where they can't turn a double play. Oh, he's safe. Come on, man. But Albie's delayed his throw because I don't think anyone told him. You're right. But that's something in your head. You have to know that Bryce is aggressive, sometimes overly aggressive. This time, it looks like it could work out for him, but he's safe. But you know, that's something that you that Ozzy Albies has to know. But it's also something the other influencers have to be cognizant of to let him know that Bryce was going. Oh, they communicate even better with the fans. Ooh, they called him out. Well, you guys, I think what you guys said was true. There may not have been enough to say whether he hit him in the shin or not on those angles. And Acuna shoots one past Gregorius into left field. And there was the cutter right there, 86. You saw it just go off. He talked about wanting to use it more to left-handers and right-handers. He tried it there and wanted to keep him honest a little bit. Freddie, a bouncing ball right side. Hoskins botches that. Nola botches the throw. Freddie's on his way to second. Acuna's on his way to third. So our first chance to talk about a big problem for the Phillies last year, it was their defense. And it rears its ugly head in the sixth inning. Last year, the Phillies were the worst offensive team in the major leagues. And Reese, look, he's trying to make the double play here, okay? Right here now, he had way more time than he thought. He didn't just have to throw it like this. Because you can see it's not a hurt now with only one out. And a line drive caught by Alec Baum. Jumping high in the air over at third base, two away. Oh, to be 6-5. Amen to that. <laughs> the game. Yeah, that is as good as it's going to get. And you know, two runs are going to score there. Azuna's going to be on second base. Well, Ben, you know, we talk about hitters being in the shade, sun, shade. And, you know, 
Alec Bohm, where he's playing right now, he's in the sun, but everything else is in the shade. Yeah. And a cold strike three, 91 on the outside part of the plate. Darno goes down looking. And the side is retired. A little defense from Bohm. If you get to that lineup with Acuna the fourth time, you really want him to see him again. Pache breaks his bat and shoots one down the left field line into the corner. McCutcheon will dig that out. And Pache will stand at second with a two-out double. And now the Braves will have a chance to go to their bench and get the game tied. And it'll be the Kung Fu Panda Pablo Sandoval getting the call. And a drive hammer deep right field. It's a pinch hit home run for Pablo Sandoval. Game is tied 2-2 on an 0-2 pitch. Well, now I'd say it's a great idea to keep him on the roster. What a swing. For a Braves bench, Jeff, that was thought to be suspect in terms of power, the very first opportunity they get to pinch hit, they took care of that. A two-run pinch hit home run for Pablo Sandoval, and the Braves are off the deck. They've tied it at two apiece. 111.5 off the bat. And tries a, to come fastball in and really, or try to go fastball away, pulled this on the inner part of the zone, and Pablo hammered it. And on a day, Jeff, where Aaron Nola threw 85 pitches, only one is one he wants back. And that was the one he just threw to Pablo Sandoval in the seventh. Sharply hit and threw a base hit on the first pitch by Darno. Darno hit almost 500 last year on first pitch sequences. And his first hit chases Freeman to second, still one out. And Dan. Swing and a miss. And second strikeout for Alvarado. Two on, two out. And Riley is hit on the leg with an 0-2 pitch. Braves will take it. Bases are loaded, but that can't feel good. Two big mistakes for the Phillies in the last two innings on 0-2 counts. One by Nola, now one by Alvarado. Deuces wild in a 2-2 game. Struck him out 100 miles an hour. There's that sinking fastball. Alvarado struck out the side with a little excitement mixed in. Make sure if you miss, you miss in. Serves it out towards shallow left center field. D.D. Gregorius is there. Oh, what a play! He falls to his backside and reels it in, fighting the wind the entire time. What a route, what a grab, and what a way to end the top of the ninth inning. No one else is going to get there. He somehow miraculously catches this baseball. Battle of everything. The winds, the angle. We head to the bottom of the ninth, tied up at two. On the hands, looped out to center field. Roman Quinn comes in. Albies tags at third. Quinn's got it. Albies is coming home. He hesitated for a moment to throw to the plate. He is out at home plate. He never got to the dish. Smothered by JT Real Muto. And the inning is over. That's why I hate this this rule. The ball takes him into the into the runner. You got to go get the ball. And you he takes advantage there. of it too, right? Yeah, you're going to go ahead first. I'm going to bury you. The ball definitely took him into the runner. And that is why he's the best catcher in baseball. Give Not being held on by Freddie Freeman, or Freeman's basically a step behind him in the pitch. Over toward third, and it's yes. over the head of Riley down the left field line. Harper scores easily. Gene Segura was a man on a mission, and the mission was victory. And the Phillies have won on opening day in the bottom of the 10th inning, 3-2. to two. Let the season begin. Well, there's your C, Johnny. A, B, C. 
Yeah, I know Didi's a tough hitter, but man, Segura just knows he has a knack for putting the bat on the ball, and in that situation, that's what you need. I think Snitker would walk Segura too to get to, to Roman Quinn. But, you know, like I said, Gene has an ability to put the bat on the ball. Look, high hop, bounces over Riley's head. You know, maybe lucky a little bit, but, you know, you put the ball in play, you have a chance of good things happening, and that's what Gene does more often than not. That's why he's a, a high average hitter. And tough, tough decision for Brian Snitker. Who do you walk? Who do you pitch to? And they pitched to Gene Segura and paid for it. Look at the reaction from the dugout. The reaction out in shallow center field. That's when the, the game of freeze tag ended with Segura.